Welcome back everyone. New at 10, for decades, first responders lacked the necessities to give pets the best chance at survival in emergency situations. But now a Valley Group is providing those tools to fire departments across the country. 12 News Journalist Gabriela Becerra explains how the foundation is trying to expand its reach. When first responders are called to a house fire, they have everything they need to save a human life. But more often than not, it's not just people in those homes. We pull out more dogs and cats and stuff than actual humans. About 40,000 pets die in fires every year, according to the American Veterinary Medical Association. Marie Peck wants to change that. What it means to our firefighters and our police officers knowing they can do something now. Peck created the Fido bag and filled it with essential items to help save pets. Our little motto is every station in the nation needs to have one of these. They don't. The most important tool inside. This is a, a, a veterinary O2 mask and it used, you know, with all different kinds of animals. With help from Sawyer, Peck demonstrates how simple it is to use. It's a great tool. It's very simple, fireman friendly. Phoenix firefighter Bobby Lawfer tells me the mask typically wakes unconscious dogs and helps them breathe until they can be treated by a veterinarian. Pull it right out of the bag, hook it up to the oxygen bottle and stick this over their nose and it starts delivering oxygen. There's all the essential items inside, like a water bowl, leashes, gloves, wipes, and a lubricant. And you put on a burn, and then when they get to the vet, they can take it off easily without making any more damage. The Fetch Foundation is based in Cave Creek. They've sent bags to fire departments across the country. Just recently, we sent these bags to Maui. As a nonprofit, each bag is only possible because of donations. An essential final bag costs $125 to make. Everybody in Arizona, I think, has a phyto bag now. But Peck says the bag is most useful before disaster strikes. We need them out there before the fire and it would be incredible if we could get that done. Every station in the nation. Gabriella Becerra, 12 News.